Hello, this is Arnas here and welcome back to Luck of the Draw. We are in the uh, in the episode 3 right now and we are coming back to the group A and then group B. So here on one side we've got uh, Einstein and Smog and these entries are uh, by chat review so we've got a small torpedo boat relatively small with uh, quite long torpedoes and uh, we've got a highly protected uh, highly protected uh, large boat large ship with two big flares and uh, torpedo decoys and some small cannon so it's all about survival survivability and protection and on the other side, we've got. Uh... Wait, actually, this was uh, Goblin and Sintol by <laughs> Chat Review. Sorry, these are uh, entries by Snex. So we have uh, we have Einstein and Smoke. So uh, these are actually shooting small uh, rockets, and there is an APS gun, small caliber one. And here we have a crumb cannon and a large missile. So without any further ado, let's start the battle. So I think that definitely uh, Snack's entry is uh, much more uh, evasive. Uh, in terms of firepower, yeah, maybe it also has a little bit edge. However, this boat should be relatively survivable so maybe you can uh, tank enough damage for the uh, for the torpedo boat to actually score some good hits uh, because snacks entry is a little bit uh, a little bit cardboard <laughs> so uh, the protection is not really its strongest suit but let's see how this is going to go for now uh, okay, looks like uh, smoke has really eaten something. Might have been a torpedo. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it uh, it connected. Must have been really quick. Uh, but I think this boat is uh, is really something to be reckoned with. It's uh, very very mobile and uh, just barely touches the water, so it might even be able to dodge some torpedoes. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a self damage actually. So let's have a look if there are any torps in the water, uh, really. And uh, and uh, yeah, what's happening with that? This APS uh, is really uh, almost a decoration. Its uh, fire rate is very, very small. Let's see the torp boat. Okay, I can see that it's it's being targeted. Not sure if it uh, had a chance to reload. Okay. Uh, not hundred percent sure what happened to the torpedoes. Have they actually been launched or or not really? For the moment I saw something uh, happening, but I'm not sure if that was a proper launch or maybe something happened to those torpedoes. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Torps, but okay, they are not really locking. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe the, the sonar... Um, actually, the sonar uh, signature is so low on the skimmer that uh, it's not being able to lock. However, having said that, uh, its companion is already out of the, the battle and actually Chad Review's team is uh, still winning. 
I don't know if there's enough ammo to actually feed those rockets. So this APS gun might be the only thing that this team has. But on the other hand, it's not it's unmolested. So the only damage being done is actually to the to the goblin and uh, Sinterold. Let's have a look. Yeah, the small turbo is being focused here. And, and it's out. Okay. So that means that the score is almost even now. And it seems so that uh, the rocket could have been launched. So there is some uh, extra ammunition left for the rocket to actually reload. And okay, that was a critical hit and a detonation. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we are. It was a pretty awkward bot battle, I must say. So it was quite strange. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's uh, snack is actually victorious, and uh, but without that thirty. Uh, seven percent of uh, of health pool lost due to the uh, smoke being uh, uh, eliminated from the battle. So okay, so let's uh, switch up the scenario uh, for for the group B. Okay, so we are now in the group B, and on one side we can see Bastak by Arthur. So a two-piece craft, which we already saw in battle, so it's got a, a large APS, however with a very small uh, fire rate. Uh, five, uh, five cram, uh, cram mortars, and also some remote-controlled thumperhead missiles. It's uh, rather stationary, uh, but has a quite a, quite a good firepower. So on the other side we've got actually my own submission. So this is the Black Plague, consisting of uh, the Black Plague itself and the Privateer. So a nearly identical craft, and uh, these are armed with uh, a relatively large, uh, full, uh, two-meter cram mortar and some. And some small rockets also added into the mix here in the back. So let's see how this one is going to go. I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, my sailboats are turning in. Crumb mortar away. One is fired, the second one as well. Let's see. Okay, I can see already the return fire from Bastak and also rockets. So I think landing a cramp here is going to be a very, very important factor. All right, I can see that indeed the cramp was landed and the second one also. Yeah, I think that there was some good hits. Okay, I think the the mortar has no longer it's no longer valid i think that the entire craft just uh, the health craft was just eliminated here and uh, some extra rockets are also thrown in as well and these are laser guided so they are uh, they are immune to any kind of uh, countermeasure apart from smoke so these are landing quite without too much issue and some additional crumb as well okay but uh, looks like the uh yeah looks like the gun was still operational just just now it despawned so okay yeah that was uh, wow <laughs> i think that uh, that stationary pasta was uh, was a good target uh for the black Plague and Privateer. I think that they had no issues just landing those scrums and once the crumbs landed that was pretty much beginning of the end. And let's uh, just quickly look at the damage done here. 
I think there's maybe yeah I think that the rockets landed somewhere here I think that must have been it so just a, just a minor clip here and there I think not not really a lot of damage done okay so thank you very much for watching uh, and see you tomorrow in the next episode <laughs>